So for today's video, we're gonna show you how to achieve this very Instagram editorial purple metallic look uh, using the pro techniques with Inglot and with the model Ariana. Ariana. And yeah, it's Jen. So if you wanna learn how to do this look, please keep watching. So for the first step, I'm going to skip primer actually and we're going to use the Inglot All Covered Foundation and we're going to mix it with the Duraline which will actually make it um, glowier, like dewier effect but it will actually make it last longer so we're going to try to skip the primer. And also don't forget to shape this foundation. And then beside the foundation, I'm going to put two to three drops of the Duraline. And then, I'm not really going to put it directly, but I'm going to make a space so that I can mix it together. I'm going to use foundation as concealer also. I'm just going to double the layer. Again, this powder is a stay hydrated powder. So what's nice about this powder is it prevents your skin from drying out and prevents the skin from losing so much moisture and it actually minimizes the look of pores while keeping your skin very hydrated. And then I would like to also introduce the Flexi Palette. So this one, it's actually, it actually has a magnetic cover. So this one you just put it like that. This is actually very good for makeup artists or, or for even for girls who like to travel because you can pick the colors that you like in your other palettes and then you can depot them and put them here. So what kind of look will we be doing for Paris today? Um, I'm thinking more like a, like a purpley, high fashion look. You know how, how people now love to do color, especially yes. you know, in I Hollywood. Yeah, so we all love colors. We're so. going to go all out today. Yeah, so I picked some of these colors. So we have purples, we have this really nice pink, which I really like. And we're gonna try to mix them. And also I'm gonna add some loose shimmers later, but I'm gonna mix it with a line for some magic. So for the first step, I'm gonna put a little bit of the line into this mixing plate. Two drops. I'm gonna mix the Dura line with a light pink eyeshadow here and then I'm gonna apply it onto the lid like a wash of color. I'm gonna apply it on the inner part. So the Dura line actually makes it more like a cream texture instead of a powder and it will make it last longer because I also skip primer because I want the natural texture of the skin to show through. Using the same brush, I'm gonna dip into this purple shade. By mixing the eyeshadow with a little bit of the Dura line, we get less fallout. So this is a very effective way to manage the colors. And then I'm gonna pick this purple, this center color, and this rainbow eyeshadow. Then I'm gonna make a slight wing effect on the eyeshadow. And then with a flat brush, I'm gonna apply this shimmer color on the brow bone and also on the inner lines. And then to intensify the color of the eyeshadow, I'm gonna mix a little bit of the Dura line with the shimmer eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna use this for a more intense color. Basically, from loose pigment, it now becomes a metallic jet liner. And then, to create a dark purple eyeliner, I'm gonna get a little bit of this dark purple eyeshadow. And then, again, I'm gonna mix it with the dual line to create a dark purple eyeliner. I 
And then I'm just gonna mix another loose pigment. So if you have eyeliners that have dried up, you can use the Dura line to revive them and bring them back to life and make it seem like it's brand new. So I'm just gonna do that. I need this. So like if it's dry and you put this, it should yes. be able to revive, revive and yeah. loosen the pigment. Yeah, we're just gonna put one drop because we don't need so much black eyeliner now. very softly but not like super intense. Okay, so we're almost at the last step and now we're gonna use the Dura line to do the lip primer. So this is actually gonna make it make the lipstick line smoother. But what we love about the Dura line actually is that it makes everything last longer and waterproof. So we're gonna just Rub it all over the neck. And the look is done, so this is our final look. Hmm, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good, girl. <laughs> we need to go out somewhere after this. We need to go out to get after this and test out if it's really yes. waterproof. But I'm sure it's waterproof because I've tried it on some other products, especially on the liners. I love making loose pigments into like glitter liners. Yeah, I think it's fantastic how you can make all these other products multi-purpose just like Yes, and what's most important is you can revive your dried out eyeliners the brow pomades, you know, the cream blushes, you can make it come back to life. Come back to life and back on my face. Yes. yes. Love it. You guys love it.